What's up guys, so I just wanted to make this little video to let you guys know what's happening, why there haven't been any updates or any videos recently. So we got new data, and whenever we have new data, there's always there's always issues. Sometimes they're not as bad as as they you know as they are some other times. So um, that's sort of the setback. So for starters, you can see the torso is glitched. I'm not sure if it's because they changed the torso, or or if all of the things that are wrong are wrong because they were changed, or if it was genuinely just to mess with private servers. Because that's what I heard back in the day. I, but I was assuming that that was just kind of like a rumor that that wasn't real life. That they, I just can't imagine they would care enough about private servers to do that. Plus, it's really like. I mean, I, I just don't think that they would care. So it has to be for unrelated reasons. But there's a lot of things that are just randomly different or randomly changed. Um, and we have to work on improving them. So for obviously you have, the, you have the torso, which has no arms. And they're like flying all the way back there. You have room crafting altars. Let me show you. Um, uh, don't do that. So for starters, um, the NPC that used to be the survival expert has changed. It is now... Um, this little <laughs> gnome dude and for whatever reason gnomes their standing animation is now then like on the floor um, so this used to be the survival expert that teleports you to like if I click it you know it has, still has the same options and everything but it is now a random ninja I don't even know who that is some things not changed so um, it's hard to really know what all is even possibly changed because um, you know like I, like I said I haven't played through everything I don't know if every single NPC is the same I'll definitely be looking out for it but um, Major of Zamrock's the same, but we will show you one of our problems. So, uh, the actual update, the, the, the actual update that was going to be coming out is the Runecrafting Skill Boss, which I've been making decent progress on until we hit this sort of snag. So let me show you, I guess I can just go anywhere. Actually, let me find out if it is anywhere. What about here? Yeah, okay, it is anywhere. All the altars are gone, um, and replaced with very, very random objects. So, I've talked to Dark about this. Um, he's working on it. Let me see if he's anything back. But hopefully he is working on it. He's working on redoing the values, and hopefully that will fix the problems. If not, I think what we'll have to probably do um, is... Well, it's, it's hard to say, because there's, there's worse problems than just this. And as far as I know, there could even be even more problems that are bad. So, for example, right now... We're just, oh, you know what? I'm going to go kill some cows in Lumbridge. And, and no, game crashed. If you teleport to Lumbridge, your game crashes. So that's like one of the way worse ones that, that would definitely need to be fixed. I'm not sure if walking there would crash you. I don't know if they did something to Lumbridge. I think they might have, um, but I, I really don't know. Let me restart client. So, so that's one of the big problems. Um, everyone at home looks the same. Like I haven't, uh, uh, there's probably still things that I've, I have yet to even discover that are are super messed up. Um, I need to start paying more attention to old school updates and the areas they change because that kind of stuff is always going to affect us. But, um, you know, it's worth it in the end because we do have the new stuff. You obviously want new stuff, good stuff that's, you know, well done, like the Hydra and all that shit. So, uh, we do have that. And then we have the wilderness weapons, which I still don't have a single one spawned. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll work on that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I don't really have any news now. I just wanted to make this video so people knew that I wasn't like, I don't know, just gone, just vanished or anything. Um, I know things are going to be slow. Um, it's just going to suck until we can get this shit uh, fixed and released. Um, so RC, RC Skilling Boss is the first thing that is going to be out in terms of updates. Um, it, depending on how long this is delayed or, or whatever ends up happening, if we do have to sort of take, you know, take away the new data, you know, whatever. Um, we might just keep, you know not do anything until Halloween because um, what what I wanted I already have a pretty good idea of what I want to do for Halloween. It'll be a whole month long thing starting from the first. Um, so if we can swing it, it would be cool to um, hopefully get all this stuff fixed um, or decided get the Greenscraft Skilling Boss done and then release the how the start of the Halloween event um, uh, on the first. So that could be cool. I'm not going to give too much information about that, but I will say that there will be one um, really good bit of, <laughs> of content coming with the Halloween update that'll be um, sort of highlighted during the update, but it will stay afterwards, and you, you, you know, you'll know you see what it is once it, whenever it comes out. Also, uh, if you're wondering why I don't play the live game at the moment, it's because with the, um, with the cache, I think I could just change the version and it would work fine. Um, or I could always just switch to cache. I guess it did work this time, huh? Oh, no, no, never mind. I got it. Like, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm not like online or anything. I've just been staying with the one cache working on the um, update. Um, as far as the RC Scaling Bosch goes, it's 
it's pretty much done except for the rewards and the fact that the altars don't work. Uh, so I'm not too very worried about that. I don't want to show anything um, just because I don't want to give it no spoilers, no spoilers. But um, I'm liking the way it's turned out, and, and if it wasn't for these other unrelated issues, um, it, it would be it'd probably be out by now. But um, if, if it does come to the point where we're like a couple weeks in, and this um, it doesn't seem like the new data is, is going to work, or we're just having the same issues, we'll, we'll figure out a plan. Um, you know, obviously stuff like the torso sucks, but we can get around it. But stuff like the Lumbridge teleport crashing and altars and stuff like that, I mean, I, I don't know. There's always workarounds, but I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to rush a workaround that's going to be crappy. So hopefully we can get the real problems fixed. If I have any news, I will update you guys either on Discord or if I have enough news, I'll show you in a video. Um, I have been working on the comment. I will show you the last thing there. People have given me their feedback on the comment. Um, so I think the changes have been pretty good. Uh, I've kind of messed around with it, so it's kind of hard to show you. But I've been working with... Uh, so the things I want to do is, one, I want to re-up the strength. Uh, so that was the main change that, that everybody was sort of against, was, was lowering the strength um, in general. And that just got you lower hits. Um, so we went a little too far with that. I, I brought it back up a little bit. It's not what it originally was. So hopefully we're, we're finding a nice balance between PvP and PvM. Um, but like I, so what I noticed is I, I changed these so if I hit them now, it won't be completely accurate. But before, with this same gear and a uh, Garazi Ripier, I was able to hit a 39 on them. Like, I think that'd be the default game. Like, if you were to just come right now in the default game with this gear, um, you would hit 39s on the giant rock crabs. So, yeah, my max hit, and that was without, like, prayer, without potions. Just max hit raw was 39. And then in the test since, it's um, after, like, after I did changes, I think the highest I saw was was 46 47 so it's already been you know you can see like the, the the average hit was like the mid 30s and then the, and then after the change the average hit was like the mid 40s. and i don't mean the average hit overall i mean like the average good hit because obviously you still have like you know your, your ones and tens and whatnot um so then another thing i want to do combined with that um is boost stab bonuses so um not stab bonuses style bonuses uh so if you have attack slash crush magic or range every monster has the same weakness players do as well but the players is going to be a little different um i'm assuming we'll have to we'll have to test it when the live game comes and, and just play around with it and see what we like but uh for a monster who's weak to stab if you have the good stab bonus and the good stab weapon it would work so that's the um and that's what I want to buff as well. So whatever the monster's weakness is will be even more weak to it. So, for example, this thing is really resistant to stab bonus. That's what that's the way I've edited it. That's why I made a mention of like saying that it's been changed. So it's got seventy five thousand or seventy five hundred, not seventy five thousand, um, seventy five hundred um, in that style. Um, and for for NPCs, it's actually like reversed. The defense goes first. Um, at least I believe so. Um, so then if we have this weapon, the Juggernaut on, and we have Stab on. We're not going to hit too good. Um, it will be possible to hit, but it sh you know it'll be inaccurate and not great. But then the second we switch it to Slash, you'll you'll see success, right? So now you know it's you can see it has the negative 500 Slash. So you're actually you know you're hitting pretty consistent, pretty good. I, we didn't hit a single zero, I don't think, right? 21s, 20, I mean just constant 20s basically. Um, so you can see that. And then there's also um, just a sort of another further reminder of how, how um, improved the rapier is compared to normal weapons. The rapier's accuracy buff, uh, I assume it would apply to the scythe as well, but I'm not sure. Um, even with, like, stab and this thing being super against stab watch, it should actually hit, like, you'll hit, you'll hit zero, sure. But you'll hit more than, more than you did with the juggernaut. <laughs> more than you did with the juggernaut, I should say. I made it sound like you were going to destroy it, but you're, you're not. You're not going to destroy it. Uh, but you can sort of see that the weaknesses are definitely working. This was working before. I guess it was just really lucky. Um, but with the accuracy bonus, you can sometimes hit through the, um, the super insanely high stab defense. Uh, but I've sort of just been messing around with the numbers, trying to get um, good results. But I think that they're going to be a lot better. It's going to be a lot more improved. You're going to be able to PVM like normal. Um, and then if we, if we really don't like this change, then we'll just undo it again. Uh, Dark has mentioned we could possibly, you know, maybe make a completely separate system, just completely divide, you know, se separate the systems, one for PvM, one for PvP. And um, that could work, too, you know, if, we, if it comes down to it. That's, uh, that would obviously be difficult and take a lot of time, which is why we don't want to just automatically do it right away. But I like, I like where it's at now. I'm still going to mess around with it. I've got plenty of time with, while we're trying to figure this shit out. But, yeah, that's...
that'll do the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I apologize for the delays and everything. I just wanted to give you guys this update to let you guys know that I'm not like disappearing. That I'm not, you know, not doing nothing. It's just uh, with New Day, there's always those kind of shenanigans. And hopefully, it's limited to the things I've showed because, like I said, you never know what could be different. This stuff like this has happened before, but very minimally. Like, for example, if I go to um, Max Guild, that was totally what I meant to do. The dude who, um, well, that's that's another part of the problem, these NPCs. Again, I don't know if they got an animation change or what, but now their head is kind of floating away. But this dude used to be, like, the same as them. If you look at their IDs, they're kind of roughly similar. He was, he was like, a similar-looking dude. And then one of the data changes just completely changed him to just the to Phileas Ram. He's just a completely different dude now. Um, so, you know, who knows what all changes. I think a lot of things don't get changed. I think it's... That's what makes me think it's not related to them trying to fuck with prior series. Because, again, I don't know why they would, but... I think it's just stuff that they've changed. Like, I don't, I don't know if they specifically changed an animation or what. We gotta figure out how to get the right values and, and, and get that change. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of random things we still gotta figure out. But, uh, yeah, whenever I have any new information, I will let you guys know right away.